Hey, with this video, I have successfully done 30 videos in 30 days. So I thought I'd just give you the tiny little quick tip of how I accomplished that. Because 30 days ago, I declared that I was going to achieve 30 videos in 30 days. And I actually 100% succeeded. Many people say they're going to do something, then don't succeed. I also do this frequently. But this one worked out. Why did this, why was this one different? Because 30 days ago, I texted my brother, I'm going to make 30 videos in the next 30 days, or I'm going to give you 500 US dollars. So it's called inevitability thinking. It's by Evan Pagan. You just come up with concepts like that, where, it, where you just have to get it done. And it's just impossible that you won't. Um, so you might want to try that. Uh, and I thought also just soon as I, as soon as we're here, I'd just, uh, mention a bit of what I accomplished in that 30 days. I mean, still you would notice like the, the view count on, on the videos is not that high, it really doesn't phase me in the slightest. So it just doesn't bother me because I just fully believe that eventually I'll get there. Um, so, you know, just, just observing, I was like, hmm, you know, the view count's still not high, you know, just, just that, it just gives me more ideas, you know, and it's like, you just keep going and keep going and keep going and it doesn't work and it doesn't work and it doesn't work, but you get better ideas and better ideas and better ideas. And eventually, you know, everything will just come together. I, I believe that anyway. Um, so doing this, the, the main thing it helped me get to was the next level of video creation that is just about to land for me. Uh, more high production style that is in, involves scripts and, um, you know, a, a lot of like, um, uh, proper like video editing. Um, let me, let me show you something that's kind of like, uh, in the works at the moment, but I haven't actually finished it. Um, I wanted to finish it yesterday, but it just got a little bit too difficult. So take a look at this, right? This is pretty cool. Okay, ready? This is a uh, Adobe After Effects. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, even though I didn't, you know, I still don't have the views, high views or high subscribers or anything like that, and not really making a significant impact just yet, that's okay, because it took me to a place where I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna learn really good video editing, and you, you saw that, I think that looks pretty cool, so um, I'll start to be able to incorporate that kind of stuff, and scripts, I, and I, I know that the, the, the high production videos work well, because I actually did do one, you might not have seen it, uh, but I made a video about Mayweather and Tenshin Nasukawa fight that's coming up, and, um, you know, I think in like 12 hours, I got 150 views, just boom, which, you know, you, of course, there's some people that get like 100,000 views in um, at that time, but w whatever, you know, it's still a lot more than I normally get, and just magically, just from search engine stuff, I guess YouTube can just see that it's a high quality video or something like that. Um, yeah, it's just like higher production videos, just people want to watch them more, I think it's just a fact. Um, so I think after, after I get like the high production quality coming in and also my actual movement and physical performance mm, abilities are improving as well. And I think, I don't know, maybe it'll take another year or something like that, but there's going to come a point where the videos are looking schmick as hell and my abilities are actually, you know, good enough that they actually give me some credibility and people look at it and go, okay, this, this guy seems to know something because I can see it here. Cause you know, I, I feel like I've discovered some pretty interesting knowledge that I would like to, sh <clears throat> that I would like to share. However, you know, people need that visual credibility before they'll really like be willing to listen to you. Because I think at the moment people would prefer to listen to someone with visual credibility even if they're saying complete mainstream nonsense, like there's channels out there that get millions of subscribers and millions of views for saying complete, completely mainstream ideas just because they have the visual credibility. And that's fair. That's how things work. But yeah, 
um, working towards it. And um, yeah, just if I can take a moment to just translate that into something for you, like some self-development advice, I suppose. It's like, you know, whatever you got going on, whatever, whatever your little thing is, you know, that you're personally working on. And I say little because I'm specifically talking to people who at the moment just have a fledgling thing that they're trying to grow. Just keep stacking on new skills and new things that make it better and just keep pushing them all in, you know, and just stacking all these different good things together and keep growing them and, yeah, you know, just also just keep believing that eventually it will be, you know, something really good. Like uh, I read a great book one time, it was called So Good They Can't Ignore You and, you know, that's the idea, that's the approach I'm taking, just like, I will keep going until everything I'm doing is just so good that it can no longer be ignored. And I suppose, um, you know, if you're watching this, at the moment I've just got like less than a thousand subscribers or something, just get less than a hundred views on each video. So I owe you a thank you for just supporting me, you know, even in this tiny fledgling phase. Um, you know, if I was getting zero views, it would be completely not worth doing. So just, just by the fact that you're supporting me at this early stage, I really appreciate that. So Merry Christmas, good luck to what you're doing, and I'll see you soon.